What if Goku kept his Saiyan tail? How would this impact Dragon Ball Z Part 13? If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Subscribe now and make sure you click that bell so you'll be the first to know about any new Dragon Ball Z discussion what if I make. Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's episode of Dragon Ball Z Discussion, where we do a what if discussion on Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, and Dragon Ball GT. Previously on what if Goku kept his Saiyan tail, we mentioned that Goku and everyone has now arrived to the future timeline as he managed to lure Black towards him and from there Black went and he transformed to a new form called Super Saiyan Rose. With that Goku went and charged towards Black as they were going at it but he didn't stand a chance against Black. Black then revealed that he stole Goku's body and that he is Zamasu. Upon hearing that got Goku very angry as he went and transformed into a Super Saiyan Blue evolution and he began to beat the shit out of Black. Black got desperate so he went and fused with Zamasu, becoming merged Zamasu and now they began to go and overpower everyone that was there. Since they were too strong, Goku went and he tried to hold off a blast that they threw towards him but it got him to a shock mode and because of that Goku has now achieved a new power called the Ultra Instinct. Upon using that Goku went and beat the shit out of Zamasu as he didn't stand a chance against Goku and from there he went and powered up an attack and killed him right where he stood while they went right back to their timeline. Upon their arrival, they have learned that Beerus has died, while the warrior has revealed himself and it was no one other than Vegeta. He has been resurrected with the Super Dragon Balls and now he has a plan to kill everyone that is there, while Gohan has been declared to be the destroyer for Universe 7 and now the tournament of power is beginning very soon. Find out what happens inside this part. What if Goku kept his Saiyan tail? Part 13 Goku and everyone has now returned back to their world as they begun preparing for the upcoming tournament of power. Goku was responsible to get the fighters for the tournament while everyone continued their training. Goku asked Whis to train him as he wanted to do everything he can to use his power against Zamasu again and therefore they decided to go and spend one day inside the hyperbolic time chamber. Gohan was busy doing everything he can to know his destroyer power and he started to do some course based on how to be a good destroyer but at the same time Raditz Piccolo were training with him too as they all wanted to get a lot stronger. Whis came out with Goku after spending one day inside the hyperbolic time chamber and he began training Raditz and the others so that they could be ready for the tournament of power while Goku went and he gathered his teammate for the tournament. While doing so, Goku was busy trying to get everyone to join his team as he managed to go and get his full roster and from there he went to Supreme Kai's world as he asked him about the Super Dragon Balls. After getting his answer, Goku then decided to go to Planet Namek and summon Purunga. His intention was to ask Purunga about Vegeta. Tell me, how did Vegeta survive Beerus' Hakai and how did he come back to alive? It would appear that this Vegeta fellow has been resurrected with the Super Dragon Balls. Someone wished for him to come back. And when it comes to his strength, he has also used the wish on the Super Dragon Balls to get stronger. That is all I can tell you for now. As Perunga has now left. After hearing that Vegeta has been resurrected with the Super Dragon Balls and also used it to get stronger, Goku now understood how Vegeta been able to come back and now he did everything he can to prepare for the battle that's gonna come ahead between him and Vegeta. From there, Goku came right back to planet Earth as he saw that the Supreme Kai was there and from there he told Supreme Kai what he has learned while the old Kai came towards him and said, I heard about what's going on with Vegeta. Goku, how would you like me to come and unlock your potential? You can become a lot stronger by having your potential unlocked. That way you could easily beat Vegeta. <laughs> I don't know, that would be amazing but he's too strong. From what I heard, anyways, I need to focus on getting this win from the Tournament of Power. As the time has come for the Tournament of Power to begin. The fighters for Universe 7 are Tian, Roshi, Krillin, Piccolo, Goten, 16, 17, 18, Radis, and Goku. As the Tournament of Power has now begun. Upon their arrival, everybody saw all the fighters from different universes gather inside the Tournament of Power. 
as they started to get overwhelmed with how many fighters were there. And after Dai Shinkin has told everyone about the rules, the tournament of power has now begun. Everyone went and they started to attack one another, while Goku was too busy trying to knock out all of the strongest fighter. Raditz was confronted from Universe 6 fighter named Hits, who was known as an assassin, as he went and he strike Raditz down. But from there Raditz went and he used a new power which he has achieved by training with Whis. Raditz has transformed into a Super Saiyan Blue, as he managed to go and strike Hits and both of them went and they started to attack one another. Hits was starting to overpower Raditz since he didn't improve it himself but from there, Android 17 came to help Raditz as both of them worked together and they managed to go and eliminate Hits from the tournament. From there, Android 16 went and he began to overpower Khalifa and Kel since both of them were right in front of him and they tried to attack him but he went and easily overpowered him and he managed to knock them out of the arena. He did not allow them to have any time to think or even try to use teamwork. 16 went and easily defeated both of them. Everybody saw that the androids from the Universe 7 had a huge advantage since their key never ran out. All the fighters were doing everything they can to hold their own against each other, while Goku was too busy trying to find the strongest one, but before he knows it, the strongest fighter has arrived right before him, and his name was Jiren the Grey. Both Goku and Jiren stared at one another, as Goku could sense his power and said, So you're the strongest one here, huh? Let's do this then. As they had a stare down. Jiren! Jiren! Listen up! It is time! It's time for you to get your name recognized! Fight Son Goku and crush him! Doing so will show the multiverses how strong you are! After all, Universe 7 only has Son Goku as their backup! Once he's out of the picture, it will lose everybody's motivation! I understand, my lord! As they continue to stare at one another, before anything can happen, Goku went and instantly transformed into a Super Saiyan 4 and he rushed towards Jiren and started to attack him. But he saw that his hit wasn't even phasing Jiren, so Goku went and used his Super Saiyan God power and he tried to do it again but again, it did not work on Jiren, as he stood still and took in all of Goku's hit without even flinching. Goku was impressed with Jiren's power and said, what will kick you to high gear? Maybe this will do it. Goku has transformed into a Super Saiyan Blue Evolution as he confronted Jiren and now their second round has begun. With that, Goku went and strike Jiren, causing him to move back a bit but he came right back and dead Goku right in the stomach and they began to attack one another. With each blow they were landing to one another, it was affecting the tournament of power as the entire atmosphere and the tournament began to shake. Jiren then went and used more power as he went and kicked Goku in his stomach and from there Goku fell to the ground but before he can get up, Jiren went and punched him as he took his face and slammed it towards the ground. Goku was impressed that he didn't even know how to counter Jiren's attack while Jiren went and he powered up a massive blast and said, it's over. As he aimed it right towards Goku, Goku went and tried to catch the blast as he tried hard to disperse it but from there, it was beginning to overpower him as it caught Goku's gi to rip up but Goku went and used his ultra instinct power causing the attack to be dispersed. Upon using it, all the destroyers were confused seeing Goku using his ultra instinct while Gohan smiled and said, you got this father. It won't change anything, you're still going to lose here. Jiren went and rushed towards Goku as both of their fists clashed with one another and they started to attack each other. While that was happening, Topa was about to attack Piccolo but from there Android 17 went and threw a blast towards him as he turned around and he saw that 17 was standing there. With that, their battle has begun. Topo being the mortal that learned the destroyer way and he was trying to become a destroyer, he went and rushed towards Android 17 and he tried to strike him but Android 17 went and outmaneuvered him. Since he didn't have unlimited key, he used that towards his advantage as he began to go and throw a lot of key blasts towards Topo. The blast was strong enough to almost knock Topo out of the arena so Topo has now accepted his role and he has now become a destroyer. With that, Topo went and threw a Hawkeye blast towards Android 17 but Android 17 used his force shield 
As he managed to get Topo's attack dispersed, seeing that he had no option, Seventeen went and he took Topo with full force and both of them jumped out of the arena. As he used every parry he had in his being to knock Topo out of the arena and he was successful in doing so as both of them got eliminated from the tournament. Most of the universe inside the tournament of power began to be eliminated very fast while Goku and Jiren were going at it and they were landing blow to blow. Goku was able to use his UI for much longer compared to last time since he did train inside the hyperbolic time chamber with Whis for over one year allowing Goku to utilize the power to his fullest. From there Goku went and strike Jiren in his guts as Jiren got mad and he went and used his full power. <laughs> It's time we put an end to this Goku. Let's go all out. Hmm. I won't be surprised, Jiren. I have been going all out since the start. Before Goku can blink, Jiren came right next to him and striked him right in his face, getting Goku to be sent flying meters away. Goku tried to hold a grip of himself, but from there Jiren went and he continued to attack him as he knocked Goku down hard and it caused Goku to be sent flying out of the arena very fast. But before Goku can get out, Gohan and the rest of the fighters went and they started to motivate Goku as they all told him that they believe in him and with that motivation, Goku got right back up as he managed to stop himself from being sent flying towards the arena and he went and started to power up as he went and screamed. <laughs> Goku after achieving Ultra Instinct and now being able to withstand it. He was finally able to learn the proper ways of Ultra Instinct and now master it. This is Master Ultra Instinct Goku and thanks to his tail, no strain was hitting Goku in his body as he was able to use his power like if it was nothing. With that transformation, all the angels and destroyers got up to show their respect to Goku as he was the only mortal to ever use his power. Goku looked towards Jared and said, let the battle begin, Jiren. Goku flew right past Jiren as he managed to scratch his face but before Jiren can react, Goku went and used his heel to kick him right in his stomach, causing Jiren to send flying towards the rock. And once when he got up, he saw Goku was there and said, Is that all you got, Jiren? <laughs> Don't be so cocky, Goku! Jiren went and rushed towards him and started to attack him non-stop, while Goku was blocking and dodging all of Jiren's attack. With that, Jiren went and powered up a blast and threw it towards Goku, while Goku stood still and he went and caught the blast with one hand and he dispersed it. As he did it, even break a sweat. Upon seeing that, got Jiren a little bit worried, but before he can react, Goku came and striked him right in his stomach. As Jiren was trying to gasp for air, but before he can do anything, Goku went and kneed him in his face, causing Jiren to be sent flying towards the ground, as he was all beaten up. Once when Jiren tried to get up, he then had a past memory as it got him really angry and he didn't want to be cornered so he went and screamed. <laughs> Jiren has now managed to go and break his limit as he is now using his limit breaker to hold his own against Goku's master ultra instinct power out of desperation. With that Goku and Jiren's next round begun as they both stared to one another and now they went and rushed to each other and their power clashed with one another. Goku was holding Jiren off while Jiren was doing everything he can to hold off Goku and attack him. From there Jiren managed to caught Goku off guard as he went and punched him right in his head and threw a blast towards him as it hit him head on. Once when Jiren felt that the battle was over, he was surprised to see that Goku got up as he managed to shake off Jiren's blast and said, Why are you so surprised to see me getting up Jiren? You think this is the end for me? Tell me Goku, what motivates you to be this strong? Protecting my loved ones and my family is what motivates me to be this strong. Your family? Friends? That's all crap! There's no such thing as that! Jaren then went and powered up an attack and threw it towards the bleachers as he tried to aim towards Goku's friends. Goku then went in instant transmission right in front of the blast as he caught it with one hand and he dispersed it as he got really angry and from there he went and rushed towards Jaren and decked him right in his jaw, causing Jaren to break it and from there Goku went and started to beat the shit out of Jaren. 
Goku went and used his Ultra Instinct power to its fullest, while Jiren's Limit Breaker was losing towards him and from there Goku went and kneed him hard in his face and he threw him out of the arena. As he powered up a Kamehameha wave and aimed it right at Jiren and he got sent directly right towards the bleachers, as he has now been eliminated from the tournament. With that, Goku managed to go and win the tournament of power since he was the last one standing and he has proved to the multiverse that his master ultra instinct power had no limit since he did have a tail all the strains was going towards it and he managed to withstand all any strain towards his master ultra instinct as he has now put an end towards this and universe 7 has won the tournament. Xeno went and erased Jiren's universe but before going Goku looked towards Jiren and said I'd love to have a rematch one day Jiren. <laughs> Me too Goku as Jiren's universe has been erased. Very good Goku, I'm very impressed. You managed to go and win the tournament all by yourself and now you get to use a Super Dragon Ball. So tell me, what will be your wish? I wish for everyone to come back to a life. All the universe has been erased inside the tournament to be restored again. Hmm, very wise wish Goku. I'm actually surprised. Dai Shinken made the wish and from there Goku looked towards him and said, Can I ask you a question? You are the strongest fighter I can say, right? Can you please train me? Huh? Hmm, that's kind of an odd request. But after the way you showed your power inside a tournament of power, and also the wish you made, you have my blessing. I will train you, Goku. We will start first thing tomorrow. Awesome! Thanks! I cannot wait! Goku managed to save the day and save all the universes, as he managed to go and use the wish towards bringing everyone back, and now he's the hero across the multiverse. Just when the Z Fires had some celebration to do, they did not forget that someone's waiting for them, which was no one other than Vegeta, as in now how I have to go and prepare for Vegeta. Find out what happens in the next episode of What If Goku Kept His Saiyan Tail. Make sure you click that bell my Z fans, so you'll be the first to know when the next episode comes out. And if you haven't joined my Discord server yet, what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below and join it, so you can become one of the first Z fighters.